And now over to the Democratic side of things. We have Kayla Gaskins in Tyson's Corner, Virginia, where the McAuliffe campaign is. So, um, Kayla, I guess there are a lot of people there that are just kind of uneasy because these results are still coming in, and it looks like McAuliffe and Yunkin, it's becoming a little bit tighter as we speak. Well, the energy out here at the McAuliffe campaign headquarters in McLean, Virginia, has been a bit of a bell curve. When we got out here this afternoon, the energy was at a low, steady level, and then as the pollings closed, it started to rise and hit right, the top really when uh, Terry McAuliffe himself here came out here, and then it started to peter down as we wait to get those final numbers, but things have definitely quieted down out here. Now, when Terry McCullough spoke, he kept his speech very short. He spoke, he thanked his family, he thanked his supporters, and he said at the time he spoke, that was about 1030 this evening, there was about 18 percent of the vote that was left that needed to be counted. He said every Virginian deserves to have their vote counted, and so we were going to wait and count every single vote. At one point, uh, Glenn Youngkin was up at 55 percent, and now if the latest numbers that I checked, he's at about 51 percent, and that's as those early votes keep getting counted, and that's what the Democrats kept saying they were waiting on. We talked to Senator Mark Warner today, and he said that that's what happened in his election last year. There was an early wave of red votes, and then the Democrat early votes that tended to be Democrat came in, and of course he won his election. He says he's not sure if that's going to be the case for McAuliffe, but that is his experience, so it's definitely what could happen out here. And it's still a waiting game as we wait and see the rest of the votes come in. We'll be sure to keep you updated on air and online. That's the latest from McLean, Virginia. I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.